my cuties to your cute tea eats and i'm back again with not a mukbang you guys have been highly 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 requesting me doing the orange chicken not orange chicken lord orange shrimp cooking video recipe video so i'm got uh, uh, get it out i am going to show you you guys the recipe my niece is in the background don't mind her a bike in the back don't mind nothing that's in the background the kitchen is clean okay but the lighting in this video is not going to be as good because i am recording this on my phone so yeah y'all i'm going to show you guys the ingredients before we get into the video if you're new to my channel you watch me first time please go ahead and hit the subscribe button join the cute again okay that's just that on that after you do that smash the like button leave a comment down below because i always reply and make sure that your post notification bell is always turned on so you never miss when i post up period okay y'all so right now i'm going to get all the ingredients and before we get into this video I want to tell y'all that I literally made this up when I was working one day. So I know you guys want to see how I make this. So you want to see how I make it. I'm going to show you how I make it. And I'm going to show you the ingredients. Now you can look it up online and get these same ingredients. So I'm just going to show you what they are and then we're going to get into the video. It's not going to be long. We're going to get straight to the point. And I'll be right back with all the ingredients. What you're going to need for the video of course you're gonna need some shrimp um you don't need i would say probably if it's you're just serving yourself probably like maybe 10 to 15 maybe like 8 to 10 15 at the most but you know i'm greedy so all this is for me you're gonna need um some like a flour wash basically just flour and water you mix it together to a consistency where it's nice and thick and not too watery flour of course you need some sweet chili sauce doesn't matter what brand doesn't matter what kind of sauce just some sweet chili sauce you're also going to need some soy ginger sauce and you're going to need saboy i think that's how you pronounce it this right here this is very very important and of course rice you can have brown you can have organic whatever kind of rice you want and that's pretty much it and of course you need a fryer or you can do your uh, shrimp over the stove like everybody else does. And yeah, so we're going to get into it. I'm going to turn this fryer on so that the grease can be hot. Sometimes it's be popping, y'all, so hopefully it don't shock me. All right, there we go. Pour this out. And we're going to get into the video. And yeah, y'all, make sure you share. Not really share this one because I don't really like the way. <laughs> I don't like the way this lighting is, but we're going to work with it. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and we're going to get into the food, okay? Oh. I'm back. Excuse the lighting. It's not good lighting. So I'm going to pretty much unpackage all this stuff. And we're going to get into it. I'm not trying to be up here all day. So all night really. Y'all. It's super late. I'm recording this super late. This is the um, flour and water wash. So pretty much you're going to mix some flour. You're going to put some little bit of flour, a little bit of water mix. Add a little bit of flour, add a little bit of water mix. Once it gets to a nice thick consistency you don't want it too thick but you don't want it too watery like i said all these things are for what i got from the rl so this already pre-made so anyway you're gonna need sweet chili this is what it looks like up close there you go like i said y'all i got all this from my job so it's all convenient to me so like i said this is what y'all want the recipe and I tried to look up online for a duplicate and it's very, very hard to duplicate duplicate this recipe. Do nice. Of course, this is my first time doing a cooking video. Y'all work with me, work with me, work with me. Okay, work with me. <laughs> so I'm going to use all this rice and we're going to go put some water on. So you guys follow me to the side of the kitchen. Right now I am going to, Lord, I got this tripod. Oh, Lord, y'all. Your girl is struggling. And here, so what you want to do, you want to get this size pot. You can get a small pot. It depends on how much rice you make. If you make, make a little bit of rice, you do not need this big pipe. But also, if you have a rice cooker, which like bears and butters have, I do have one, but I'm not pulling out the closet. So we're going to just do the old fashioned way. <laughs> so we're going to go to the sink. Boom, bam. Can y'all see the sink? Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some purified water because you know. We don't do tap around here. Period. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of water. I'm country, so I'll put a little bit of water, a little bit of salt, a little bit of butter in my rice because I don't like plain rice. And we're going to cook all of it. I know y'all like to see me, but I look ugly right now. You see what I'm saying? Now Bear got to pee. So I guess you got to use the bathroom. Oh my God. Come on. Oh, 
always when I record. Go, go. And don't run off. Uh, so right now, I'm going to put the rice on. And I like to get my rice done quick. So I'm going to put it on between 5 and 6. You can put it on a low temp, but I like to have mine on a higher temperature. Well, medium to low temperature. Not too high because I want my rice to burn. So, yeah. So you know me, I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Shout out to butter. It's from Two Girls, One Mukbang. So, yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of butter because I like butter in my rice. Okay, let's get that on and some butter. Not a lot, just enough, you know what I'm saying? So how is y'all week going? Because this is coming out Monday. This is coming out Monday, so y'all wanted it, you got it. And just so you guys know, my birthday is this upcoming week. Um, so I probably won't be very active this up probably after Wednesday your girl is going to be on a vacation I'm cooking all this rice I love rice so that's what it looks like right now it's it's gonna be it's gonna look way better um yeah so I'll be back to y'all when we start the next process with the shrimp be back with the shrimp y'all see my shirt this is from like when I was in middle school high school like freshman year it says I'm small but I'm cute which is true all right you guys so right now the shrimp what we're gonna do I'm gonna wash my hands again because listen all right so pretty much what you're gonna do now is you're gonna get I got a plastic plate you can get like a little trash bag or whatever and I'm just gonna put the shells the ends where my waist is just getting small my pants keep falling anyway let's back this off off my so we're gonna peel these shrimps off so I got these from my job so these are the ones that already come with the ends, the main part off. So all you got to do is take the end off. It doesn't matter what shrimp you get long as they're just shrimp. You want to get a medium size. I would say either medium, large, or extra large. It depends on how big you want your shrimp. I have uh, large ones, which are these, and I have extra large. You know, once you fry them, you know everything straights when it gets fried. So, so what you're going to do, you're going to just peel these up, and they should look like this. So I'm going to come back with them all peeled and we get to the next phase. Hey guys, so the shrimp are all peeled and washed. So this is what they look like. Um, pretty much all of them are clean on the inside. Uh, I know some people are like, oh, like, I don't want the poop of mine. That doesn't really bother me because I feel like, you know, shrimp is shrimp. So, but yeah, so that's done. So we're going to leave these right here. And, when we, and what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and bring the flour. And we're going to head and bring this batter, this flour batter wash. So what we're going to do next is you're going to get a Ziploc bag. You know, Hefty, you know, always does the good job. So what you're going to do, you're going to get a bag like this. Like I said, it depends on how many shrimp you have. I always have a lot, so I always use a bag like this. But you can also use a smaller bag if you would like. So what you're going to do next is you're going to put all your shrimp into this one bag. And when you put all the shrimp in the bag, you're going to add this wash. And you're going to mix the shrimp up really, really well. And then, once you do that, I'm going to show you guys the next part. But we're going to do that now, and I'm going to show you exactly right, what it looks So we're about to do the shrimp and that wash together. As you guys can see over there, the rice is cooking. I have it on between 5 and 6. And what you're going to do, this hefty bag, you're going to put all the shrimps inside of it. Make sure that you wash your seafood before you eat it and make sure it's very clean. Because, you know, you just never, you never know nowadays. So what you're going to do, you're going to put all these in the bag. It should look like this. You're going to get your flour and water wash. And if you, like, you know, like I said, when you put the flour in, put a little bit of flour, a little bit of water you mix. Add more flour, add more water. You want it to be a nice consistency. You don't want it to be too thick or too watery. You want it to be just right. What you're going to do after you make that, you're going to simply dump it in the bag. Okay? Now, I'm going to put it on this plate. It should look like this. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to close the bag up. And you're simply just going to move it around in the bag. You're going to make sure all the shrimp get the beer bag on them. Now, luckily with the bear wash, you don't really need a lot because it literally coats the shrimp instantly. I will give you guys a close up of what they look like right about now. And water, water, uh, 
wash. <laughs> so you should look like that. You can always add more if you want to add more. But once you add the flour, you guys, once you add that flour, it's going to be super thick. <laughs> so I would say, you know, once you feel like this evenly coated, don't add no more. Like that is extra. So you can either use it for another time or you can throw it away. But I wouldn't throw it away because you never know. You might want to make orange chicken, you know, after you learn this recipe because it's very simple and easy. We're going to check on the rice. The rice is cooking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it up real quick. I forgot what utensil I think I'm gonna use this just mix it you know mix it up but y'all let me know now in the comments how y'all doing today on this Monday because this is when this video is going to come out and I'm telling y'all right now do not judge me on how I look because listen I don't like look I listen if I'm not recording a mukbang or going out I'm that's how I look anywho so once you do that what you're going to do next you're going to need flour and um I would say probably a cup of flour, one cup of flour, one cup of beer wash. We'll get into the next steps later, but just what you need. Make sure you have your fryer on or you have your stove top with grease in it. You can use canola, any type of oil you want to use. Make sure you have your rice already cooking. And we also have some broccoli in here, which is going to, we're going to do that last because broccoli takes literally two seconds to cook. And yeah. So let's just get to the next two bears and butters and anybody that does these cooking videos because they're very tedious. But y'all, can y'all see me? I don't really want y'all to see me, honestly. I just want y'all to worry about the food. <laughs> so we won't we won't focus on food. Anywho, so what you're gonna do next is you could you're gonna use this bag and you're gonna put your flour in here. Now, what you're gonna do, you're just simply gonna dump it in. You're gonna dump a little bit at a time and mix it. Now, once you dump the flour in, you will see why I said don't add a lot of beer wash because, yeah, it gets, it gets pretty it gets pretty messy. Very messy, actually. <laughs> so, you're just going to keep mixing it up. You want to make sure that all the shrimp are evenly coated with flour. And I still got flour left, so I'm going to keep adding some gradually in and mixing it up. You want to make sure all of them got the coating on them, so you want to... Probably turn the bag at the bottom because sometimes the shrimps be stuck down there. You want to keep mixing them up. You know, mixing them and mixing them. All right. And then, you know, you might as well use the rest. If you got a little bit left, you might as well dump it in. So dump it all in. Dump it all in. Usually, for most of the time, flour is not left over. It's only usually the beer wash. You want to mix them up like you do chicken. Y'all know how your chicken is, but you got to make sure it's evenly coated. Same with the shrimps. So we're going to open it. And I'm going to show y'all exactly what your shrimp should look like. If they don't like, if they don't look how they look right now, you need to put should look like that. Mm, my hands is already dirty. I got to wash them. I washed my hand like four times already. Anywho, your shrimp should look like this. I'm going to go ahead and pull. Oh, my arm is hairy. Whoa. Your shrimp should look like that evenly coated so we're gonna leave these in the bag because we don't really need them yet and we're gonna go ahead and put this in the trash because we're done with it so we'll go ahead and open that don't mind the trash so I don't look okay next what we're gonna do is of course we're gonna make a dragon sauce so yes y'all we want to get into this sauce over here y'all so yes but let's check on the rice the rice is starting to bubble um it's all right because because i got it on high but long as you watch your rice like you know this doesn't take a long time it might seem like it but it really doesn't but um long as you watch your rice because you already see it's already starting to expand and yeah i young as y'all know i love rice so yeah we're gonna just go ahead and get into it let it keep cooking and we're gonna get into the next part we had cornbread a few days ago. Now, what you're going to need now is a bowl. Probably like maybe about this size. You're going to need a bowl like this. Like I said about the broccoli, I'm about to wash that and use that. You need a whiskey whisk. Right here. I know about y'all, I always wipe my, wipe my utensils off, even if I already know they're clean. 
All right, y'all. So now we're going to make the dragon sauce, which is what I use at RL, but I wanted to show y'all how to make it specifically. So what you're going to need is soy ginger, which is this right here. And you can get soy ginger sauce anywhere. Walmart has some. And Subway. I don't know where you can get this from, but this is definitely a major component. This is ground fresh chili paste, which makes it hot, which is I, I love hot food. So yeah, what you're going to do I'm going to show you guys what you're going to do. Actually, I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do. Yeah, so what you're going to do, you're going to take some sabol. I don't know if it's, that's pronounced the word. I don't know, y'all. I've been saying like that since I knew what it was. Give me a knife. Huh. Uh, the same one I used earlier. Come on, T. Don't do it like that, y'all. So what you're going to do, you're going to pretty much just dump a little bit in. Like I say, it really just depends on how spicy you want it I like mine spicy so I'm gonna do that and you're gonna add some soy pour it in like that okay it's gonna look like this and what you're gonna do you simply are just gonna mix it up to a nice consistency like that Me, I'm going to add more maple. I mean, not maple, Lord. Soy, because I feel like it's more Savoy than soy. I'm going to mix it like that. And it smells very spicy. So I'm, add, I'm going to add pretty much all the soy, actually. Just to calm it down a little bit. Add a little bit more of this. Alright, and that's it. That's one sauce. So that's how you make it. You pretty much just... I don't listen I'm I know how to cook <laughs> but I don't know measurements okay I go off of what I see I just say oh that's enough that's it I'm gonna show you up close uh, up close uh Lord get it out here get it out <laughs> I'm gonna show you up close uh, video of the sauce in just a second so just let me wash my hands and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like all should look like like I said, you can add more soy, less soy, more soy, less soy. Depends on how you like your stuff, your sauce, if you like your food spicy or if you like it like this. Now, the, as you can see, the rice is pretty much almost done. And what I'm going to do, because it's cooking a little fast, we're going to add some water to it. Just a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water. I'm going to put it back on the pot. And now that it's cooking on kind of fast, we're going to put it on a low temperature. I'll put it on between like maybe three. Just to let it cook off because it's not, it's not, it's getting done, but it's not quite done yet. And I don't want my stuff to burn because I'm not going to eat no burps, no rice. So, yeah. But that's the main ingredient, one of the main ones. As you can see, the grease is getting hot. Our shrimp are battered. Our sauce is almost done. We got to add one more ingredient. I'll be right to be back complete. We now have to add our sweet chili. And I'm going to add all this because it has a nice kick to it. Both of these sauces are spicy. But like I said, you can probably get a less spicier sweet chili sauce from probably like maybe Sam's Club, Kroger, um, Publix, Costco, Walmart. You know, these are just from Red Lobster. They have really good sweet chili sauce. So, I'm going to just... It's going to kind of change. As you guys can see. That's kind of what the color looks like. Oh, it smells like General Toast Chicken. Anyway, I'm going to give you guys a close-up of the sauce. And it smells delicious. It's a finished product on the sauce. So this is our orange chicken. Orange shrimp sauce. Or I keep saying chicken. I must want some chicken. This is the orange shrimp sauce. I like mine with like... You know, I like it like this. You should. It should be like this because once you, um, when we put it on the stove, which not yet, we're going to put it in the, in the pan just to get it ready. But you want it to be that kind of consistency because what you're going to do later on is you're going to put it on a medium to low heat and you want it to bubble up and get thickened. Once you add the shrimp in so it can have a thick coat and when you batter, when you coat the shrimp, it'll, you know, y'all see. Just, just, just rock with me, rock with me, rock with me, y'all. Because I don't know, I know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not used to recording myself cooking. Like, I don't mean to cool myself. I just eat. What we're going to do, we're going to go down here in the pans, y'all. And we're going to go ahead and rinse this out because I don't know if we have last year. So, we're going to rinse it. I'm going to clean my mess up in a minute. Don't come for me. Okay. 
We got a napkin. Simply gonna wipe out our pan. You know we use Dawn around these parts. All right, so we're gonna put this on the stove and we're simply gonna just dump the sauce in the pot. We're not gonna use it yet, but we're gonna have it just ready, sitting ready, because you know, everything's about to get clean. We're gonna go ahead and wash those two dishes, throw this stuff out, and then we're gonna get on to the last part, which is the next part, not the last part, y'all, which is the shrimp, duh. So y'all, give me two seconds, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna do is pretty much, we're going to fry the shrimp. Now, I know some people do the test of the water, so I'm gonna just test it out to see if it's hot, but I know it's hot. You're gonna just, if it make that pop, she's ready. Okay, honey, so it's ready. So what you're gonna do, you're not gonna put all the shrimps at an, in at a time unless you're only making a small amount. What I try to do is I try to put it like at least maybe like seven at a time because I want them to cook evenly, but I don't want them to be overdone. So, I'm gonna put, you guys can see. Oops, I'm sorry, y'all. I mean, gotta get used to, um, this probably will be my first and last cooking video. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> So yeah, until I get a, until I get a really good camera, cause this doing with the phone, she's not working. Okay, that's good. So I probably put more than eight. I probably put ten, but it's getting late, and I actually need to record me eating this too. So I gotta hurry up. <laughs> All right. So next things next is we're gonna go ahead and do the broccoli. Y'all know I got two bags of broccoli for my job because they just love me and always give me. Give me, you know, discount food or whatever. So what we're going to do, I'm going to pretty much go ahead and put this in this container. Of course, you know, wash it. And then we're just going to cook it. And that's pretty much it. Once the trim get fried up, I'm going to come back to y'all with the rest. Y'all should know how to cook broccoli. Right? I don't got to explain it to you. You know, make sure you rinse your broccoli, butter, salt, microwave it. I microwave my broccoli because I don't got time to be, uh, you know, waiting for it to cook. And my rice is pretty much done. And yeah, y'all, that's it. You're about to get straight to after the shrimp, all the shrimp get fried. I will come back and show you guys what they look like. And then we'll be ready to really put everything together. So I'll be right back. Pretty much, this is what you want your shrimp to look like. You don't really have to make yours this brown, but you want to want them to be brown at least, a light brown. But I like mine's are extra, like a little bit crispier. So that's pretty much what they look like. Um, that was the first batch. I'm gonna come back to y'all when the, all of them are done. The broccoli's done, the rice is done, and we're gonna just focus on putting in the sauce. But we'll be right back. Yo, this is a lot of work. I probably won't do this for a long, long, long time, okay? So yeah, smash the like button on this because this is taking me a lot of work and I'm really, really tired, okay? I love y'all. Y'all the best. Why are you in here trying to lick some? Why I cook y'all? This is what I deal with. He's just all up in the kitchen. All up in here. Yeah, I got you on camera. Yeah, get your big butt out of here. Then he likes to sit right there in that one spot y'all and just sits there. Ew. Now I'm gonna clean the rice pan and the rice is done. Now, like I said, we had our sauce on the pot and I had my sauce on three to four. And what you want to do, you want your sauce to look like this. You want to start bubbles so I can get a little thickness to it. See how it's not as watery as it was before? So you want it to look like that. It's very piping hot. We're on the last batch of shrimp. This is the rest of them. This is the last batch. The timer just went off for the broccoli. She's done. So yeah, y'all. All the dishes are washed besides the one, the one pan. Ow! Why did I touch this knowing this was hot? I know. That's the broccoli nice and hot you know i gotta taste one just to make sure you know it's done or whatever uh-huh perfect it could have been a less more done but i thought since i had more broccoli i had to cook it longer so the shrimps are pretty much done so we're going to do we're going to unplug the fryer like that we go ahead and take these shrimp out and yeah y'all I'm about to get into the last last part of the video which is coating the shrimp with the stuff and i just dropped the shrimp y'all don't worry these, these counters is clean i literally just washed them and i'm only i'm the only one eating it so but yeah i'll be back to y'all when we put the shrimp into the sauce that sauce looks bomb don't it don't it i know it does comment down below 
a rice emoji if you're still watching the video. Cool. Thank you. Don't mind the way my rice look. I'm trying to make it look pretty. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright you guys, so the sauce is nice and thick. So what you want to do, you pretty much want to turn it on down to probably low. Because you don't want it to be poppy no more. So what you're going to do pretty much is you're just going to add the shrimps in. You can, you know, throw them all in at once or you can toss them or you can be bougie like me and use tongs, which I don't usually do, but I'm doing it for y'all because I'm doing the video. Because, yes, your girl just usually plops them all in at one time. And I'm trying to be classy today. So, yeah, this is what usually happens. So I'm going to come back to y'all when they're all in the sauce. Right, you guys, so all the shrimps are in the sauce, as you guys can see. I'm going to let you guys get a close up. And pretty much now what you're going to do is you're literally going to make sure that all the shrimps are evenly coated in the sauce. Um, try not to get any in the, um, what is it called? The burner. Because, you know, this tends to get messy. And the reason why, you don't have to make this much sauce. But like I said, I'm fat. So I knew that I was going to need a lot of sauce. But if you know you're just making this for yourself, you don't have to make this much sauce. If you're not going to have this much shrimp. Also, like I said, this is not just a recipe for shrimp. You can use it for the chicken. You can use it for chicken. You can use it for beef, pork, whatever. But, you know, I got many requests for this orange shrimp recipe. I'm doing it for my cuties because I love y'all. Because, listen, this is a lot of work. Anyway, you're just going to keep mixing it. You're going to keep mixing it till it's fully, fully coated. Every shrimp needs to be coated in the sauce, which they're not. So, you're going to keep mixing. Now, I'm going to come back to y'all when they're fully mixed. It is the finished product of the orange shrimp yes i know they look bomb i know so when i really come back is when you guys will see the plate and yeah so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and i'm gonna be back with the finish the plate plate that i'm gonna be eating you know I mean? but yes y'all make sure y'all like comment and share this video y'all because y'all wanted it y'all got it and that's just it y'all look at that look how bomb they look delish yes but i'll be back with the plate okay you guys so this is the finished product of the orange shrimp now as y'all can see that rice came out perfect that one didn't as far as me trying to get it like that that one came out great that one came out whatever but you know it's, it's all good but here is the main thing orange shrimp i try to be decorative because i'm about to bump i'm literally about to bang this but yeah, y'all, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, please, you know, like I said, I know you probably was like, well, you didn't. Well, like I said, I literally made this up in my job. So I know y'all guys are like, well, like I want to, we want to learn how to make it. But I literally just took ingredients from where I work and made it myself. And like I said, you can pretty much look it up online for a copycat. Like I said, Walmart sells sweet chili sauce. I'm pretty sure like all stores, you can get sweet chili sauce online. You can get Saboy anywhere. Um, You can get soy ginger sauce anywhere and that's all you need and you need flour and you need a beer of flour and water wash flour you know batter your shrimp broccoli rice or whatever side you want like this is just simple for me because it's easy to do but yeah i hope you guys enjoy and if it's not too much shh, lord i'm that's not even what i say if you made it to the end of this recipe video if you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe because y'all listen this video was a lot to work i am exhausted and i have to record a mukbang and yeah so yes but all my social media links be on the description box below hope you guys have a great start to your week it is monday we're gonna get straight to it your girl got a three-day week because honey i took off days for my birthday and like i said before in the beginning of my video this week your girl is probably gonna be inactive because i'm gonna be celebrating i'm gonna be turning up for my 25th birthday so y'all make sure y'all tell me your birthday on thursday because it's cancer season period okay but yes y'all let me know down in the comments if you guys make orange shrimp, orange chicken, any type of way you want to make it. Just go ahead and, and have fun with it. And I will see you guys on Wednesday with this as the food. <laughs> Just give you a little heads up because I'm not going to make you this, okay? But I love you guys so much and peace.